Despite the far left propaganda put out by extremist climate alarmists, the pattern of dry years followed by a wet year is not unusual in my home state of California. What's unusual is the total neglect of our water infrastructure in recent years, thanks to extremist California Democrats' monopoly of power. So as we wait for the ticking time bomb of the Sierra Nevada snow to melt, farmers in California's Central Valley, where I was just this week, are bracing for possibly massive floods, which could have a huge impact on America's, indeed the world's, food supply and food prices. But instead of working night and day to head off this potential crisis, absentee California Governor Gavin Newsom has been running around the country yelling at red states. Joining us now to discuss, California Congressman and member of the House Committee on Natural Resources, John Duarte. John, great to see you. Um, I, you're, you're right. You're literally in the thick of it. Uh, your district is uh, in the Central Valley. You know this subject so well. Um, first of all, just tell us your perspective on what's going on and then where, where should the political accountability lie? Working families throughout the Central Valley here where I live in Modesto, Merced, Madera, Fresno counties, right down the, the big bread basket, the fruit bowl of America, the salad bowl of America, are going to get flooded this summer. They live, many of these towns are right on the San Joaquin River. We've not only neglected to build dams and provide flood control assets that would harness the water before it runs off into the valley uncontrolled, but we've also not allowed these towns to go ahead and clean out the drainages. These rivers haven't been dredged. The vegetation is overgrown. We have farm worker communities being flooded out the second time in five years in the town of Planada because the levee wasn't repaired because Fish and Wildlife would not issue the permit that Army Corps of Engineers asked them to issue, in fairness to the Army Corps. It's, it's one story after another. Now, with all the floods that are happening this year, these, these drainages are going to get silted up again even worse and we're going to be less prepared for flood control in the future. All the while, it's been 40 years since we've built a dam in California. We, we can harness this water. We, can, you know, we can't build homes in California because we have water scarcity versus water abundance. Water storage and water infrastructure equals affordable housing. It's flood safety. It's bountiful water. We're literally here in California talking about taking army showers statewide. The governor's looking to impose 50 gallons a day of water to residential homeowners because we haven't built dams in decades, generations, since we've built any water infrastructure. And the, water, the sites to build these dams up and down the Sierra Nevadas are ready to go. They're, they've been there. The engineering's yes. been done. We've passed the water bonds. It's ready to go, and we choose not to do it. Uh, just a, a phrase you used, we had a fantastic conversation about all this on the podcast, um, and you talked about the lords of scarcity. Just very quickly, what, what do you mean by that? By the lords of scarcity, I mean, it. at some point, we have to account for this as we see it and as it is. These are people who will push working families to the edge of privation to harness control over them. The lords of scarcity use scarcity to keep people pinned down. And when you look at a society as ours that could easily build water for a fraction of 1% of one year's economy here in California, we could build gold-plated infrastructure that would solve all water needs, including ecological needs, habitat restorations, endangered species flows, and provide for affordable housing, jobs, mm -hmm. green energy through hydroelectric, and protect our aquifers. It is a complete win-win-win. And the only reason we're not doing it I think the Democrats have to take it on the chin. They are choosing to have anti-human, lords of scarcity policies that work against working families, and they don't want humans to thrive. Yes. With water, we can thrive. It's the yes. fundamental ingredient to, for a thriving society. John, it was a fa thank you for being with us tonight. It was a fantastic conversation. Um, and by the way, anyone who wants to see that conversation and listen to our discussion um, please uh, go to uh, Apple or Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts and get The Steve Hilton Show. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.